Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 16th of January. Jay Shankar in Iran says attacks on ships in vicinity of India grave concern. University teachers and POK demand long due salary hike alleged discrimination. And Sri Lanka arrest 10 Indian fishermen second incident this week. And offer all the details. Amid the Red Sea crisis, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar on Tuesday termed the attacks on ships in the vicinity of India as a matter of grace concern to the international community. During his two-day visit to Iran, Jay Shankar said that such threats have a direct bearing on India's energy and economic interest as he underlined that this fraught situation will not benefit anyone. After wide-ranging talks with his Iranian counterpart, Jay Shankar said that it is important that this issue be speedily addressed. India has been closely monitoring the unfolding situation in the Red Sea. The Indian Navy has already enhanced deployment of its frontline ships and surveillance aircraft for maritime security operations in view of the maritime environment in the critical sea lanes, including the North and Central Arabian Sea. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday dialed his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin and conveyed best wishes for Moscow's BRICS presidency in 2024 and assured of India's full support. The conversation was focused on boosting bilateral ties and the two leaders agreed to develop a roadmap for future initiatives to further strengthen India-Russia special and privileged strategic partnership. The Kremlin, in a statement, said the talks also touched upon the situation in Ukraine. India has maintained its traditionally friendly ties with Russia since the outbreak of war in Ukraine, even as it has remained close to Western countries, including the US, while occasionally criticizing Moscow's military campaign. The party of Pakistan's former PM Nawaz Sharif, considered the front-runner to win upcoming general elections, launched its campaign on Monday amid accusations that the military support is already giving him an edge over rivals. Sharif's daughter, Maryam Nawaz, who is also considered his political heir, started the party's campaign in Punjab province. The campaign for the February 8 polls, delayed since November, looks set to fire up a lukewarm race so far amid an uncertain political environment after Sharif's main rival and jailed former Premier Imran Khan's party is facing what is considered a military-backed crackdown. Sharif, who returned from self-exile in London late last year, has pledged to build the economy as Pakistan battles high inflation and low foreign exchange reserves despite averting a dead default last summer with an IMF bailout. Moving on, university teachers in Bagh in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir staged a demonstration recently and suspended operations accusing the authorities of discrimination as they are not being given their long-due salary hike, a report. The academic staff of the Women's University in Bagh area of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir suspended their operations recently and staged a protest to demand a long-due salary hike. The protesters alleged discrimination and said despite giving a green signal for increment, authorities are now depriving them of a fair hike and allowances, while the same raise has already been given to their counterparts in Pakistan.
This is not the first time people in POK have to often hit the streets to demand even their basic rights, which they say meet a bureaucratic blockade at the behest of the political leadership of Pakistan. तो जो लोग हमें ये कह रहे हैं कि यूनिवर्सिटी का या फिर रैंकिंग खराब हो रही है माहौल खराब हो रहा है तो उन लोगों को प्लीज ये बात सोचनी चाहिए कि इन मामला को कैसे दूर किया जाए कि हमारे जो स्टूडेंट कल को यहाँ पे आए हुए हैं उन पर किस कैसा असर पड़ेगा कि हमने जिस तदाद में लोगों को अट्रैक्ट किया है Activists blame that promotion of education and empowering teachers in the occupied region could help the locals in POK understand their rights but Islamabad views it as a threat to its unlawful annexation of the territory The Sri Lankan Navy has arrested 10 Indian fishermen and seized their trawler for allegedly poaching in its waters 2 days after 12 other fishermen from India were apprehended on similar charges The Navy in a statement on Monday said the apprehended fishermen will be handed over to the Miladi Fisheries Inspector for further action. India and Sri Lanka share an expansive oceanic border without any perceptible demarcation and fishermen from both the countries frequently stray into each other's territory while netting their catch and end up spending years in jails. Last year a total of 240 Indian fishermen were arrested by Sri Lankan Navy for alleged poaching. and the atmosphere was filled with festive fervor and dust hovered above the fields as the age old bull fighting festival locally called goru judhai was organized in nepal's nuva court district on monday the festival marked on the first day of mag was first introduced in the 18th century by prince of bajang jai prithvi bahadur singh for entertainment purpose during his visit to his maternal uncle's house since then the locals have continued the bull fighting tradition They feed their bulls with various cereals, oils and vitamins to increase their stamina and tame them for the fight. A total of 17 bulls competed to secure the top position in the competition this time. Guru Judani Vaishya Vashi, it's a 4-5 months ago, and it's a little bit of water, 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 and it's a little bit of water. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.